internet, today I'm going to be doing the book summation challenge. This was created by Morgan over at the YA Wizard, and so I will link her original video down in the description, but she also tagged me to do this. She tagged me a while ago, and I'm just now getting to it, so sorry about that, Morgan. Basically the idea, it's about summarizing books, which if you watch my videos, you know is not something that I'm always very good at, so I'm curious to see how this video is going to go. But you basically have 30 seconds to summarize each book, and then there's a lightning round at the end where you have to see how many books you can summarize in 30 seconds. I don't think that there's like a specific number of books that you have to do this for, so what I've done is I have picked out four books that I'm going to try and summarize in 30 seconds. There's some that are a little more complicated, I think, that I might actually struggle a little more with. And then I've picked out six books for the lightning round. I'm gonna see how many of those I can get through in 30 seconds at the end. So we'll see. I'm gonna use my phone to time it. Unfortunately, for some reason, the timer app, you the like least amount is one minute unless you tell Siri to do it. So that's how I'm gonna have to do this. But my ring that goes off for my timer is the Star Wars theme. So when you hear that, my 30 seconds is up. So we're gonna see how this goes. So the first book I'm going to attempt to summarize is 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson. By the way, I don't think I said this, but all of the books that I picked for this are books that I haven't read in over a year. So I wanted it to be a little more challenging because summarizing books isn't already challenging enough for me. Set timer for 30 seconds. Roger that. Okay. T minus 30 seconds and counting. So 13 Little Blue Envelopes is about a girl named Jenny who gets this mysterious blue envelope from her deceased aunt telling her basically I think to uh, go to Europe, to buy a plane ticket to Europe and there's a thousand dollars in there and <clears throat> or does she get all of the envelopes at once? I think she might get all the envelopes at once but she's only allowed to open one at a time and then she goes and backpacks through Europe, basically. That could have been done better, but you know what? <laughs> Whatever. This is gonna be harder than I thought. The next one I have is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. Since this talks for like three seconds and I can't talk, I'm gonna set it for 33 seconds. So that way by the time it's done talking to me, I can start. Set timer for 33 seconds. Okay, I set it. Just remember, a watched iPhone never boils. Okay, so Ready Player One by Ernest Cline is set in the future, and it's kind of about a virtual reality video game, sort of. It's about this kid named Wade, who is kind of obsessed with this virtual reality game called The Oasis. And the creator of The Oasis has deceased, and he's left behind his fortune to whoever can find it in The Oasis, but he's made it very, very complicated, and Wade is the first one to find the first clue, and that kind of sets everything in motion for the rest of the book. That worked out so much better. Next, I have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Done. I love a good countdown. So, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green is one of my favorite books of all time. It's about a girl named Hazel Grace who has terminal cancer, and, you know, obviously because of that she's a little bit depressed and her parents get her to go to the support group and she meets Augustus Waters. And it's kind of a love story between the two of them, but there's also a lot more going on, I think. There's about friendship um, and just dealing with everything that's going on with both of them. It's a very, very sad story. It's one of the few books that has made me cry and it's a book that's very dear to my heart. I could have went in more detail, but that's gonna have to do. The last book I have before my lightning round is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Done. I love a good countdown. Okay, so I'll Give You the Sun is a dual perspective point of view novel. It's also an LGBTQ plus novel, and that one of the two main characters is gay. Um, we get perspectives from two twins, Jude and Noah. Jude's perspective is told from when they are 16 and they've kind of grown apart and Noah's perspective is told from when they are 13 before everything kind of happens and it's a really beautiful story and I love it a lot and I okay I guess I'm stopping okay, so now I have the lightning round I don't feel like this is gonna go over well seeing as how this hasn't gone well so far <laughs> set timer for 33 seconds okay I said it just remember, a watched iPhone never boils. Okay, so The Selection by Kira Cass is basically like The Bachelor, but set in the future with princesses. 
If I Stay is about a girl who's in a car accident and she's trying to decide whether or not she wants to continue living on or if she wants to move on and it's kind of flashbacks from her life. Cinder is a sci-fi retelling of Cinderella with cyborgs. A Darker Shade of Magic is about a boy who can jump in between different Londons and he is robbed by a thief named Lila Bard. <sighs> okay, I got through four for that. That's it's not bad. The other two that I had hoped to get to was I'll Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You by Ali Carter and Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I didn't think of who I wanted to tag for this. Um, I don't know if Heather from Zether Books has been tagged or not, so I'm tagging her just in case. I'm going to tag Penny from Penny and Books because that's a channel I've been really enjoying lately. And I'm going to tag Jessie from Jessie's Shelf. So I'm going to leave all of their channels down in the description as well. Oh, also, like, obvious, I got my hair cut. I didn't even think to, like, start off with that because I haven't filmed since I got my hair cut. But yeah, that happened. I don't really know if it went super well or not, but it happened. And, um, and now it will forever be on the internet for all to enjoy. So, anyway, I'm gonna stop now. Also, if you get the reference on my shirt, let me know in the comments. Because we should be friends. That will be it for this video, and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.